Hi, my name is Karan and today I am going to talk about OWASP Zaps file upload add-on. In this video, I am going to cover about file upload functionality, types of implementations, overview of OWASP Zaps file upload add-on configuration and at last I am going to talk about command line options to set file upload add-on configurations. File upload functionality generally has two endpoints, one for uploading the file and another for retrieving that file. Different applications have different ways to implement it. In some applications, retrieval endpoint is present in response of uploaded files request. Let's navigate to OWASP Vulnerable App Facade, which is a vulnerable application which has file upload functionality. Now, if we go to the level one, here we can upload a file. Let's upload github.png file. If you look at it, the response of the uploaded request contains the URL or the location to reach that file. Talking about other types of implementations, in some implementations, the retrieval endpoint is static and the only thing that changes is the file name. Now, if we go back to the vulnerable app facade again, here, if I upload another file, you will see that the location is static except the file name. Now, to see this, let's upload a sasanlab.png file and you will see that only the file name has changed. Now talking about the third and the last fee, in some applications, retrieval endpoint is present in a different web page's HTTP response. Applications like social media apps have profile pages where profile pictures are present in profile page's HTML. Now let's talk about file upload add-ons configuration. In order to set file upload add-ons configuration, we need to navigate to options panel under file upload and we will see the bunch of configurations. In case the retrieval endpoint is present in uploaded files HTTP response, we need to set the start and end identifiers present under parse HTTP response configurations. An example is here, this is the request where we have uploaded the sasanlabs.png. Now we can mention this part as the start identifier and this part is the end identifier so that when the scan rule will execute, it will remove this from the response and get the actual location of the uploaded file. Similarly, in case the retrieval endpoint is static location, then you can mention the static location under static location configuration. If you look at the current input, you will see that there is a dollar file name regex. Now this will be replaced by file upload add-ons scan rule with the actual file name when it gets executed. This is very beneficial in the case when file location remains the same but uploaded file name is dynamically changed as per the uploaded file. Now let's talk about the third use case where the retrieval endpoint is present in a different web page HTTP response. In that case, we need to mention that web page under dynamic location configuration as shown and then we need to mention the start and the end identifier in order to parse that web page's HTML response in order to retrieve the endpoint. Now, let's talk about how to set these configurations from command line. So 
So whenever we set the configuration from UI option panel, it gets stored in config.xml. In order to set these configurations, we need to build the key and the key is built using these tags. In this, if we want to set the static locations URI regexs, then we need to build the key as file upload.staticLocation.URI regex. Now, this is the simple command. And here we provide the configuration as file upload.staticLocation.URI regex. And then there is a value. Now this will set the value in the configuration in OWASP zap. And similarly, we can set other values too by building the keys in the same fashion. Giving another example, we can build dynamic location using file upload dot dynamic location dot URI regex. I have provided all the commands and details about file upload add-on in the description below. Thank you.